So a few days ago, I made a video talking about the recent nerfs to the mace, and I got a lot of criticism for that video, probably the most I've gotten for any video ever. And then also we saw a second round of nerfs for the mace that nerfed it quite a bit more. So I figured it was in line that I make a follow-up video to one respond to all of the controversy and stuff and to talk about this second wave of nerfs i feel like i wasn't in depth enough in specific enough in my first video about why the mace really isn't as powerful as people think it is and it isn't and i'm going to be talking more about specific situations in these situations where people think it's really powerful, but it's not actually the best thing you can use. That and also just generally responding to some of these criticisms and comments. Though there are a few that I'm just not even going to bother with, like uh, Santiago, it's Codal, Mask of Moon, and my team said, hand me a drink interesting names but uh if that's the best thing you have to do with your time leaving comments like that i'm gonna be real with you you just need a life so anyway moving on to actual concerns here so yes i still stand by the fact that some of the mace nerfs should be undone not necessarily all of them i think the damage decreases for density uh the density nerf and making it so that you can only have breach or density i think those are fair that's that's fine uh but to get into the nerfs specifically here we had like i said in the last video with the first wave a uh, massive nerf to wind burst uh burst to mer <laughs> nerf to the damage that the mace does and also a nerf to the amount of damage it gains from falling. And then in the second round of nerfs, we had the mace's attack speed reduced drastically, making it the slowest weapon in the game by far, way slower than an axe. Uh, the attack's damage was brought back up to six, so on par with an iron sword now. And that is... I just about it except again uh it was made so that you can only have breach or density which is like i said earlier that one's kind of fair that it seemed a bit op having all three of the enchantments on at once that could be kind of broken but anyway so now we're gonna get into why the mace isn't as powerful as many people think it is but Real quick before that, I want to affirm or reaffirm something here that the mace is more important than a lot of people realize because I guess I hadn't really explained this well enough in my previous video. People saying, oh, it's hilarious if you think just because the weapon gets nerfed that ruins the update. You know who you are if you said that. Um, but it, the mace, if it becomes useless does have a massive impact on how good of an update 1.21 is. People are saying, oh, it's not the center focus of the update, though. It is at the center of the update because the entire update is the trial chambers and the stuff that you get from and find in the trial chambers and the crafter. And why do you go to the trial chambers? Why do you experience this update in the first place, 1.21? To get the mace and maybe wind charges, but those are the two things, especially the mace, that are unique and functional that the trial chambers offer. Everything else is just some cosmetic items. So really, this is important. If the mace sucks, you have like no reason to go to the trial chambers. The update doesn't, not necessarily a failure. The trial chambers are still a cool structure that I really like and is really nice to have in the game but it needs a reward obviously a unique reward and that's what the mace is and if the mace sucks that gives the player 
like next to no motivation to actually go to the drow chambers in the first place so yes the mace is important very important in that regard but now we can move on to why it's not actually as powerful as people think it is especially with these nerfs so let's go get into some specific situations here we'll talk about single player against mobs and also in PvP, because PvP is definitely, from what I've seen, the greater concern here. So, again, we'll use uh, Armor Stand here. As say Armor Stand's a player that I'm fighting. So, one thing, we'll start with Windburst, is people saying, oh, well, Windburst needed to be nerfed, because if you hit someone once, you can just keep going up and hitting them, going up and hitting them. But we're talking about a player you're fighting here. And if it's a mob, you're not even going to need that because just after the first or second hit, they'll probably be dead anyway. That doesn't really matter. Although even still, you might miss the second hit because, and this is important for the PvP part too, the mace deals knockback. And also, players can do a lot. They can run fast. So... If you launch yourself up with the wind burst, it doesn't mean you're going to get the second hit. It It's actually very unlikely that you will land more than one or two hits with wind burst in a row if the player you're fighting actually is decent at PvP or knows what they're doing because they'll go, oh, they're coming at me again. I should run so that they miss me and just take fall damage instead or they could also just hit the person with the mace away so that they miss the attack because they're out of reach uh, because the person who's falling can only move not nearly as fast as the person who's running on the ground you can't move through the air very quickly like you can when you're sprinting on the ground so that is something that's just not nearly as OP as people seem to think it is with Windburst. Just, oh, get one hit on them and you can just keep on getting smash attacks and there's nothing the person you're fighting can do about it. That That's just not how it works. They can do any of number of things. They can hit you away. They can run away, cobweb you maybe even, or end crystals which we are going to talk about later because those are very important in this discussion among a number of other really powerful items. But anyway, even with the nerfs now, and that we were talking about without the nerfs there, it still wasn't very good. With the nerfs, with you having to get a smash attack to even get the wind burst, it's not going to be easy to get a smash attack in the first place. Either you are falling from a really high height so much so that you'll end up killing the player anyway if you hit it you won't need the wind burst or you're you know in a fight and you have like a few blocks above your player the, the person you're fighting or you have to stack up a few blocks which you will almost certainly have to do you'll have to stack up a bit because you'll need three or four blocks above the player even with that <laughs> you're probably gonna miss because the player can, like mentioned earlier, just run away and dodge the attack, and then you'll take fall damage and be at a disadvantage and left vulnerable, or they can just hit you away. Or while you're towering up, they could just hit you off. Like As I've played a lot of PvP, I've seen people try and stack up to pour lava on me or something or get a jump hit it it doesn't work i hit them off and they take fall damage it's not a good strategy really and so that applies to the mace too it won't work well with the mace just as it doesn't work well in general so in other words wind burst with the nerf is now basically like i said and illustrated better here almost completely useless if you're getting like an assassination shot then you're not gonna need the wind burst anyway because you're probably one hitting whoever you're going for 
or if you try and use it in the middle of a fight, you're probably just going to get knocked away and won't be able to hit the person anyway. So it doesn't really matter. There's not really a situation where it's any good. And onto the whole assassination thing, because I have a lot of, I've seen a lot of assassinations in my time, let's just say, <laughs> uh, in Minecraft, I mean, of course, but Okay, so think about this way. People are saying you can one-shot a person if you're high up enough above them. You know, jump down with the mace, hit them, they're dead. But, well, for those of... I'm guessing a lot of you saying that aren't familiar with, like, any Minecraft Civ event because that'd be really stupid to do when you could just... What you do in that case, if you're above someone and want to assassinate them, you just drop a TNT minecart, a pointed dripstone, an anvil on them, and it kills them. And guess what? That's a lot smarter to do, because then you don't take any risk. Unlike the mace, where you risk missing your hit and just dying of fall damage. Or even if you land the hit, then you'll have to fight whoever is around the person you're assassinating with dropping something like a dripstone on them. You don't have to risk anything you can just drop it and go <laughs> so in that case the mace isn't good either it's it's really not the smartest thing to do also in a lot of events where you'll want to assassinate someone you probably won't even have access to the mace anyway because you won't have access to the trial chambers so not really good for that case if you're on an smp again dripstone tnt minecart uh, anvil is still the better way to go the mace isn't good in that regard even if you even before the nerfs really it wasn't the best way to go but with the nerfs it's just why would you do that like we're going to talk about more situations here where people think that it's the overpowered it's the best thing to use but really it just it isn't i'm sorry but anyway, that's the thing that I noticed a lot in my comments was people saying, you're wrong, you're stupid, this is sad, cope. But not actually being able to give me a counter example or any counter evidence of, well, here's a case where the mace would actually be useful. One that I did see brought up that I'm gonna, I'm sorry, kind of have to debunk here is... That, oh, you can use it to one-shot bosses like the Wither and the Ender Dragon. You're not. I'm, I'm going to say it flat out. A lot of the stronger mobs in the game, well, every mob in the game moves. So let's say you tower up the ridiculous height that you need in order to one-shot the Wither or the Ender Dragon. The Wither and Ender Dragon especially fly and move really fast. There's, you're not going to get them to sand, stand still so you can land the hit. By the time you jump and reach them, they probably will have flown away and you will just miss the shot and die. It's no good in that case. It's a lot safer and less risky to just, you know, kill them the normal way of with a sword or some people use beds for the ender dragon. That's... That's a lot safer. You don't have that risk. The using the mace has this risk, but then it does it offers the same reward that you get from not using the mace. Killing the mob you're fighting. Maybe you can do it a bit quicker with the mace. But again, not really, because you still have to tower up and maybe wait for the mob to come under you to hit it. And also with the mob like ender dragon and wither again their elevation can change which can mean you'll deal less damage or more likely to miss the shot so no it's it's not helpful for that stuff and one hitting a warden i don't even know why that's in a cave like and it gives you blindness there's no way unless you're really good that you're gonna hit that shot and you would probably have to dig upward out of the roof of the cave in order to even get high enough and the warden isn't even supposed to be killed so like why would you even do that just get a skulk catalyst from silk touch at that point so again 
not really a good use. It may be good for, like, taking out an iron golem or something. But, again, that's something you could really just, like, tower up out of its reach and just chain hits on it anyway. So you don't have to take the same risk with the mace. You could just do it the normal way and get the same reward without the risk is the big thing here with the mace and a major issue with it. And also getting back to Windburst for a bit here, there was a clip uh, going around when the Windburst was first introduced of someone killing the Wither just with a mace with Windburst, like launching themselves up repeatedly with the Wither to kill it and just getting smash hit after smash hit. And people were like, oh, this is so overpowered because of this, but not really, because in order to do that, the person had to be very skilled in the first place. Not to mention, they were running a massive risk of missing one of those attacks. If they'd missed one of those, they would have fallen, maybe died if they hadn't made a water bucket clutch. Or And then also, the wither would have been way up in the air and out of their reach, like, ever again. So no, that was balanced. Ba- sorry, balanced. I will defend that as balanced, because it is higher risk and requires an immense amount of skill to pull off. And so, in return, you get to beat the wither a bit quicker. That seems fair. I don't know why people think that's broken. And this leads well to the next thing of what really is overpowered in Minecraft and isn't. Because people say the mace is overpowered because of, you know, it can deal infinite damage or whatever, can one-shot a boss. We already talked about how that's not really true. You're not probably going to be one-hitting a boss with it. But really, what is overpowered in Minecraft? Because people say, oh, the mace is so overpowered. But I mentioned in my video, when you have a bunch of items that are overpowered in quotations, uh, that... Are they really overpowered? Because the whole point of overpowered is that one thing is so much more ridiculously strong than everything else. And people say that about a bunch of things in Minecraft. So at that point, all those things people are saying are overpowered really aren't. And that includes the mace. And these other things that are overpowered are things like end crystals. Told you those were going to be coming back. Enchanted golden apples, uh, totems of undying, channeling tridents, uh, firework crossbows, <laughs> respawn anchors in the overworld, beds in the end and nether, the list goes on. All of these ridiculously powerful things, uh, even just something like lava buckets can be really powerful if the person you're using them on doesn't have water nearby. So all these things really overpowered just like the mace but if they're all overpowered they aren't maybe one of them is but they they all aren't and that includes the mace too so really the mace isn't overpowered with all of these other ridiculously strong things honestly i think end crystals should be nerfed like people saying the mace is so overpowered it needs to be nerfed have you seen end crystal pvp Watch a video of End Crystal PvP and tell me that's more balanced than the mace. Because there's no way you can say that in your right mind. I'm sorry. It, that's the other thing is that stuff like End Crystals is really only used like in people in late game SMPs. And that's really the only case you'll be able to use the mace on other players in SMPs. Because again, in a lot of events, you won't even be able to get it. So really, the only way it'll come up probably in multiplayers and SMPs. And again, in an SMP, you have access to all these other overpowered things anyway. So the mace really isn't your best shot. Because like we talked about earlier, you want to kill someone. Well, with the mace, you'll have to get high above them, but 
at that point, why don't you just drop a dripstone or TNT minecart on them? Then you don't have to risk just falling to your death because you missed your shot with the mace. So we've gone like case by case here of people saying the mace is so broken because of blah, blah, blah in this situation. But basically, we just went and debunked like all of those situations. If you can come up with another one where it might be overpowered, uh, do that, please. And respectfully, I shouldn't have to say this, but. Yeah, you know, be nice in the comments, don't be mean, or I will just start, like, reporting you or removing your comments, and we'll have to do that, but, you know, it's kind of getting to that point. Anyway, yeah, so those, like, all debunked, if you do have an example, I probably won't make another video on this, because I have to was going to make a video about the 15th anniversary, still am, but this kind of took priority over that. But I probably won't be making another video about this. I might respond to your comment if you come up with something good, but I really can't see any case where I would need to use the mace in its current state. Again, with the windburst nerf undone and the attack speed brought up, I might use it sometimes. I'll probably would. Also, real quick, um, with the attack speed change, wind burst is made even more useless. If there was any place time you or place you were going to use it after that first round of nerfs, now there really isn't because the attack speed of the mace is so slow that your attack time won't even reset in the time that you get shot up and come back down again from the wind burst so in other words you won't be able to land consecutive fully charged up hits with wind burst you'll be dealing like a fraction of the damage that you would at that point it's probably less than like a regular critical hit or something it's it's pointless and then you're just putting yourself at risk of taking fall damage again this coming up with no better reward it's an issue of balancing, really. That's what it is. And so there's just not a lot of good cases where the mace is meant to be used. How could this be fixed? Again, wind burst nerf should definitely be undone. I feel like that out of all of the nerfs is the one that people can agree on the most is bad and should be reverted like the whole point of Windburst is that it's supposed to be a strong enchantment that is only gotten from ominous trials because you go through a lot in those ominous fights. They're pretty tough. And so you get a good enchantment as a reward. You know, something like on level with Riptide, which is also really powerful or useful channeling. We have all these other really powerful enchantments. Why does wind burst have to be made useless that doesn't seem fair at all but anyway that is mostly what i wanted to say here and that yeah i just again won't be making another video about this unless there's something really big or oh if mojang nerfs it again i really hope not i oh if they don't if they nerf it again, that would just be... <sighs> but anyway, yeah, that is all I have now. Reminder, be nice in the comments. And <sighs> if you enjoyed this or found this video entertaining in some way, hopefully in a good one, consider liking and subscribing. I... As I mentioned, I have a video about the 15th anniversary coming out because I've seen some problems with people overhyping in the community. I also have some speculation, but there's important stuff to be talked about there. But that is for another day. So goodbye for now.